And thank you so much for tuning in today, everyone. I'm Amy Kim. Now, in case you didn't know, September 16th, today is Mexico's Independence Day. So we're going to learn more about that today. It's most representative dish. It's called, oh, I'm probably going to mess this up, <laughs> Chili's Nogada. Nogada? Okay, the person next to me, she's going to help me say that correctly. <laughs> we have um, Sina Chiridi of Food Wonders TV. She's a food researcher. Pronounce it for me. Sure. They are called Chiles en Nogada. Okay, I should have practiced before the show. So what, what's the origin of this dish? Why are we talking about it today? Sure. So Chiles en Nogada, basically Chile Chiles nogada is a sauce made out of, out of nuts. Nogada is the name of the tree. Oh, uh -huh. so, so it's nuts. Okay. And so this dish is very important. It's called Mexico's national dish, and it was created during the time of Mexico's independence. It started in 1810, and it lasted for 11 years. The battle. So 1821. 11-year battle. Yeah. 1821. It was proclaimed. Uh, so the by the insurgent army. And they were going to Veracruz, to a city called Cordoba, to, to sign the independence. And uh, the emperor, his name was Agustin de Iturbide. They were on their way to Veracruz, and they stopped in Puebla, which is a place where most of Mexico's national, national dishes were born. Oh. And the, the, the cuisine in Puebla was very, was done in the convents mostly. So they got together 14 convents to with all of their sisters to cook for them and the convent of San Santa Monica came up with this. It was a dish that already existed. They used to always make the chiles filled with meat and the nogada, but since they knew the Mexican flag was going to have the green and the red, they used parsley and pomegranate. Oh, that's a great idea. I want to put the ingredients up on the screen. Mm -hmm. So this is very traditional. This is yes. eaten a lot in Mexico. Yes. As we do that, why don't you show me some of the ingredients that sure. go in and we're going to actually do this together. So the meat has all of those ingredients inside. It's a very, I call it a slow food dish that requires so much time and handwork. Okay. So basically, the meat has, you know, you can see all the fruits, nuts, onion, um, raisins, almonds, and then you slow cook it. The way to, to do it is you so have you pre cook. You pre cook it, of course. Okay. You have to roast the peppers, and they take, you know, you roast them, and then you have to sweat them and peel them. So that's mm -hmm. another slow process. You have to fill them up. And the sauce that you make is also very slow because you need to open every nut and then you have to peel them. Those type of nuts are only grown during, it, it, you can find them in Mexico only during August and September. Oh. So that's why it's a very seasonal dish for sure. independence. Sure. Here in the U.S. I use walnuts, which are this ones. The ones in Mexico, you can see have if you peel them, you can see they're totally white. So that's why the nogada has to be white, like okay. the color of the Mexican flag. So once you have them all filled, then you put the sauce. I'm going to, can you reach it for yes, me? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I'll be your assistant. So you put the sauce on top. And then you have to finish it with the pomegranate, which is also seasonal fruit that you can only find dur during this month. So you don't have to put this like back in the oven at all? No. Because everything's independently cooked. I yes, they are it. independently cooked and it oh, takes you two I days to I basically it. finish it. It's not, it's not a quick dish at all. And then you finish it with the parsley. It is a very expensive dish to find in restaurants um, because it is slow. And if you want to make it yourself, you need to take like two days to finish it. These are so pretty. It's beautiful. The, the color is it's beautiful. It's a very aesthetic, yes. aesthetic and beautiful dish. Neat. That, um, that you prepare in it during the Mexican Independence Day. Yeah, I love it. We're going to put this recipe up on the screen. Uh, and excuse me, not up on the screen, up on our website, gooddaypa.com. We have a recipe section. So this afternoon we'll put this up and maybe other folks can try their hand. But as you warn us, this is going to take some time. And we say, Viva Mexico! There you go. <laughs> Happy Independence Day for Mexico. It's always lovely to have you, you, Sina. Thanks for being here today. 